news from the region, and from around the state. It's Florida Focus. Good evening and welcome. I'm Michaela Kanzler. I'm Sean McCarthy, and this is Florida Focus. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office is investigating a shooting in St. Petersburg. A woman was shot while in the doorway of her apartment late last night. The Sheriff's Office has not released the woman's name, but says she was rushed to a local hospital and is in serious condition. Detectives do not believe the shooting was a random act. The job of one Tampa Bay coach may be on the line. Let's go out to Heather Zimmerman, who has the story. Heather? Yeah, that's right, Sean. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers coach Raheem Morris was asked earlier this week whether he was concerned about his job. But his response, he's concerned about coaching. After beginning the season with a 3-1 record, the Buccaneers have lost six of their last seven games. Morris is currently in his third year of coaching. His fourth year seems to be in doubt. However, Morris says he remains optimistic and focused on the most important aspect of his job, which is coaching his team and winning football games. The next game is Sunday at 1 p.m. against the Carolina Panthers. In Tampa, Heather Zimmerman, Florida Focus Newsbreak. In order to gain national recognition, the University of South Florida is looking to change its name. University spokesperson Michael Hode said the new logo would read University of South Florida, Tampa Bay. Hode says it's looking to get past the confusion that people have when they read South Florida. The rebranding will begin in January. And Tampa's mayor is looking to crack down on prostitution. Lisa Nori joins us from the newsroom with the story. Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn wants to bring back an ordinance that was eliminated in the 90s. Now, the law allowed police to impound the vehicles of those soliciting prostitution. Now, also, in order to get their cars back, people would have to pay a $500 fine. Now, also, past attempts to bring back the law have failed. However, Buckhorn says those issues have been resolved, and he hopes to see the law passed. Some Boca Ciega High School students suffered some minor injuries this morning when their school bus crashed into a light pole. Emergency crews responded to the crash just after 7 a.m. on the school's campus at 58th Street South. Officials say 16 students are being treated for injuries. And finally tonight for one Florida mall, Christmas started with a snag. Saber Stillwell joins us on the news desk with more. Santa Claus made a less than graceful entrance at a South Florida mall. St. Nick attempted to repel from the upper level at the Palm Beach Gardens Mall when his beard got caught in his repelling gear. One of Santa's elves had to rip the fake beard off in order to free him. That's Florida Focus for this evening. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you next time.